Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm excited to show you some cool looking professional red dot sights that you can get for your Nerf blasters. On the left here, this is a cylindrical red dot sight. This one here supports green or red laser, which you can toggle depending on your preference. And on the right here is a military style kind of tactical red dot sight. It's a compact one and it's also full metal like the one over here. I've got three of them because I love them so much. Well, here's one of them already mounted on the Viper sidearm blaster. Let me show you the close-up. Looks pretty neat. You turn on the red dot slide by simply pressing one of the buttons, which are also the buttons for controlling the intensity of the laser. Just up and down. On the other side, you have the battery tray. And there are two ports here for dialing the elevation. And this one is for calibrating the left and right. Now the sight actually comes in this rugged looking box, which is rather professional. It says here micro reflex sight, ethical optics, and the model is 3MOA. In the box we have a piece of cloth for wiping the lens, sponge protection, and this one is the sight itself. A screwdriver and we have some hardware for mounting it's a mounting plate if you are mounting it on real steel and there are allen keys and here we will need to use these two screws for mounting onto our nerf blasters all right let me show you the red dog side in action Power on. Uh, you can see a faint dot there. Let me increase the intensity. And to power off, just press and hold. Yep, there you go. We're not using, we have this cover to protect the lens from scratches. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I love it. Now let's take a look at this cylindrical red or green dot sight. Comes with this kind of um, tracing paper protection. And it has lens cover just like a camera. Unlike the other red dot sight, it has the mount for picatinny rail. And to turn on, we have to turn this knob. Yep. Yeah, that's the green dot sight. Let's change it to red dot sight. Alright, it's off. And then now we have red. Uh, looks pretty cool, but not as cool as the green laser. Well, I think this side is pretty heavy as compared to the other one. But this should look really nice on a rifle type blaster. Here is my little dynamic string power blaster. As you can see, the original charging handle had broken off. Here I'm using some bolts and nuts to replace the charging handle. These gold spacers on both sides work very well. And unlike the charging handle, they are a lot more durable. With the fragile plastic handle removed, we also lose the rear iron sight. As the front sight tip, that there's no rear iron sight. So this is the perfect opportunity to test our red dot sight. Now remember this mounting plate which is used for mounting the red dot sight on rear steel. The distance between the two holes here matches that of the two holes of the red dot sight. So using this metal plate as a stencil, I'm able to trace out the holes I need to drill. Ta-da! It's all done up and here's the red dot sight. Alright, let's test it. Yep, 
In conclusion, the red dot side works pretty well as I managed to land 2 out of 3 dots on the small target board. That's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for dropping by and I will see you in the next one.